We have brought fashion stylist Eva Gravasic here. Hey, girl. Hello. You look fabulous. Thank you. I'm trying. I'm trying. It's no, September. No, you don't ever need to try. But, you know, you need to help us because what happens is we have a closet full of clothing. We look at it every day and we think I have nothing to wear. And part of the problem is we maybe haven't built a wardrobe. Exactly. That's what we're going to learn right now. You're going to build a wardrobe. You're going to stick with classic pieces that you can rely on again and again. Um, and you're going to be happy when you exactly. look in your closet. Well, I'm going to try to get you happy because yeah. sometimes, you know, but there's a few tips and tricks even before we go shopping or even before we enter our closet. Okay. Number one, your pieces have to fit. Right. Okay. And I know it sounds funny, but I mean, I was in the mall yesterday trying on a skirt. It was too tight and I almost bought it because I'm like, oh, I'll lose the five pounds. Right. And it was on sale. Yes. Right? So even better deal. Well, you might as well take the money if it doesn't fit, if it's too big or too small, and flush down the toilet. You know what? No, don't flush down the toilet. Send it to me. Yeah. Because I'll use it because you're just never going to wear those pieces. Right. So number one has to fit. Number two, when you're building a working wardrobe, have a neutral color you can always pair your clothing back to. Okay. So I did everything that can be paired back to black because right. it's a very easy neutral. In the summer, I actually pair everything back to navy blue. Nice. You can do to it's a gray. Bit softer. It is. It's a bit softer. Yeah. Great for summer. So you could do grays. You can do browns. But those neutral shades that you like to wear a lot of. Okay. And number three is if you can find actually a seamstress. Mm. Because think about it. I'm very tall, so the pants aren't necessarily going to fit me. So I need a seamstress to let the pants out. If you're petite, sometimes you're just going to need a little couple extra inches taken off. That's right. Or that sweater, well, the blouse tucked in or nipped. Or, you know, a pair of pants nipped at the yeah. waist. Those are really important. And you're going to love the silhouette it creates, and you're going to keep those pieces over and over and over again. 100. For me, it's waist, thigh. Yes. There will never be a jean that I will find that will actually fit properly the waist, thigh ratio. It so it makes sense to, even if you have a seamstress, take it to the dry cleaners. Yes, they have someone who can just nip it in just a little bit. A little bit of fabric out, and, and they're perfect then. Exactly. It's like they were tailor made for you. Exactly. And you know what? Celebrities have everything nipped everything. and tucked. Just That's in case you're wondering. They're so good. They really they have a seamstress. They're no better on than we are. They are not. They have people. They, they do. have a team, and now right? I'm showing you how to build people in a team using yes. me and my steps. So outfit number one, um, this is casual, cool. Where yes. would she be wearing this to? I would say either on the weekends, casual Fridays. You yeah. know, if you're a mom at home and you're going to meet your girlfriends and you just want to, you know, elevate your style, the best way to do it is a blazer. Right. And a couple things when you're looking for a blazer. Number one, again, stick with neutrals if you're not a blazer collector. So yeah. black or navy blue. Number two, classic lapels. Okay. Think about nothing too wide or, or too solid because that's going to get dated very, very quickly. Right. If you're petite ladies, please shop in the petite department. Mm -hmm. If you're tall, learn how to um, roll your sleeves. Because right. there's not as many options for us. I like to buy tall blazers, but there's also, there's other options are not there. Right. So I know how to uh, really roll my sleeves. Because it's never going to hit you in the right way. And then it looks like it was all intentional. That's why I did it even with the jean jacket I'm yes. wearing now. Yeah. No, that's a smart idea. Okay, so good. She can move around in these pants. Yes. Um, she can. She looks very pulled together. Very pulled together. She's in flats. So she's good. She can I, paint the town red. I thought of everything flats and I thought of heels. Right. Okay. Talking so about our heels. second look. Lovely. Where's she going? Okay. She's going to work. She's going to work. And pants. Yeah. There is no one pant for every single body type. No. So if you are short waisted, look for a mid to low rise. If you are high waisted, look for a mid to high rise. Mm -hmm. If you are. A curvy woman, look for pants that are more, have more room in the hips and thighs. If right. you're straight, look for a straight pant. It's all about proportion. Right. And then when you find a classic black pant, add a little cardigan on it, a really cute white blouse, and then play with your accessories. Mm -hmm. That's why I pulled this really pretty scarf, and I paired it with another um, pattern. And leopard really is a neutral. And it Gucci is. did it everywhere this season. Crazy pattern clashing. I know you're not going to do it at home maybe as much, but you know what? This is a really simple way to do it. Yes, it is. That, and I'm glad that you said that's a neutral. You can wear that shoe with anything. I'm you wearing know, it. It's always yeah. going to work. You're doing it with, you know, a forest green and denim and it's always going to work. So it even works with this pattern. Accessorize. That's your way of keeping current. Exactly. Right? And okay. finally, she's looking good. 
I she going out tonight? She is going out tonight, or she can go to the office. This is a yeah. really versatile dress. And, you know, we're always talking about the little black dress. I think it's been played a lot. Yeah. I think most of us have that little black dress. So now we're moving to pattern and color. For sure. And the easiest way to wear pattern or color in a dress is by a basic silhouette. Mm -hmm. So if you're a curvy girl, girl, fit and flare, if you have a great figure in terms of your portion, then you wear a wrap dress. Right. If you are rectangular or that athletic shape, a shift. Right. This is a tunic dress, which can actually be worn by a lot of women, because if you have a dif have a waist, it'll just define it more. Mm -hmm. If you are straight up and down, it'll actually define your waist. And if you're an apple shape, yep. which is busty, it's actually got a lot of room up in the up in the bust for the ladies. Yes. And it shows off your great legs. Nice. And again, it's all paired back to black. Yeah. And every single piece of clothing I've picked can actually be mixed and matched. So there's about ten if not more outfits in here that you can create with these pieces because mm -hmm. everything goes and that's how you save money you save time and you save closet space so you really when you can think mix, about yes. that when you're shopping but you, you have you to should. think about the combinations that you're putting together and what you can potentially do with all the, the separates that if, you buy right if you know what if you buy a separate and it doesn't go at least with three items in your closet we've heard that before you mm -hmm. shouldn't buy it yeah unless it's like that one beautiful piece that you want to have on a standalone but because a lot of women what they'll do is they'll go out every couple of months and they'll buy three four five six pieces of clothing uh -huh. and they have nothing to wear because they bought it individually or in colors that don't go with what they have previously owned. Mm -hmm. So think about that when you're in the malls. Yeah, that is, these are really, really good tips. Thank I you. love that.